Hello everyone, it's Wolves, and welcome back to the channel. So, today I've got a lot of things to bring to you guys. we got a little bit of uh, GPU news. Uh, you know that NVIDIA had their CES press conference today. Uh, AMD also had theirs. And uh, a few other manufacturers in the space released some laptops equipped with uh, NVIDIA's tech and uh, AMD's tech. I'm going to talk a bit about that. So if you're interested in content like this, I want to stay tuned for when I release more videos like this. I'd very much appreciate a subscribe. If you like the video, leave a like. Also, comment and let me think what you let me know what you think about the video. So enough of that. First off today, Power Color teases the Liquid Devil versions of the RX 6800 XT and the 6900 XT. You know, these cars have been out already. So I'm just gonna give you how the card looks and the design of design language of them and the actual tweet that they released it in so on to more recent news yes AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro has been released to the DIY segment and is made available for March so Threadripper Pro is a uh, Anomaly and OEM manufacturer part that comes with hardware integrated um, security mitiga mitigations with, which will somewhat hinder performance but not to a, a very large extent so you guys will very much see uh, tech YouTubers in the space probably utilizing this version of a uh, Red Reaper CPUs for builds in probably in the coming future. After that, next, Asus. Asus has announced a dual screen RG Zephyrus Duo 15SE gaming laptop, which is targeted towards content creators and uh, professional professionals in the space so this new Zephyrus Duo 15 SE combines the AMD Ryzen 5000 series CPUs and AMD 30 series mobile GPUs pairing of next gen horsepower with the next level next level in next level experience yeah sorry about that words words have been giving me a problem a lot ever since I can remember so don't pay too much mind to that on to the news so here you can see an image of how the laptop laptop's design language is intended to be so this main screen is up here and uh, a small probably utility type screen is right above the keyboard and trackpad most likely this small screen will have a uh, touch capabilities for more fluid control who knows when it comes out you can you can bet you might be able to watch an LTT video on it. This is the back profile of the laptop. Looks looks pretty sweet. Enough of that. On to next news. Today, Samsung has announced their partnership with. AMD in integrating RDNA graphics into their Exynos CPU um, mobile CPU segment for their devices. So 
it's been a long time now you know that the exynos cpu for samsung devices have not been on the same level as the snapdragon processors and i've been shamed by it for a long while so this new partnership brings a whole lot of possibilities for for samsung and their devices going forward so you can expect um products with with a combination of rdna and rdna2 in actual products by the end of 2021 or the beginning of 2022 as their press release said so next Acer introduces new line of Nitro and Aspire notebooks featuring Ryzen 5000 mobile and uh, NVIDIA's RTX 30 series mobile GPUs for these laptops. We have the Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop. This is the design language that you're we're gonna they're working with. The Acer Aspire 7 here. Acer Aspire 5, they are a portable performance. So, the, any one of these Acer laptops, you can expect to be paired with a Ryzen 5000 CPU and uh, some NVIDIA Ampere graphics. Maybe on the lower tier, you might expect AMD graphics on those lower tier as laptops, but most of the higher to mid tier laptops, you can expect AMD and the Nvidia combination for those for those ones. So speaking about Nvidia, today Nvidia. In their press conference actually announced the desktop RTX 3060 graphics card which have cons cons confirmed most of the rumors that have been going around about it the most big one is that it has 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory and uh, the price is targeted to be around 300 and 30 US dollars. So today Nvidia has announced their RTX 3060 GPU and uh, unfortunately it's not available for purchase or pre-order yet. They say it will be available late February. Whatever late February means. They didn't give a specific day but Yes, late February. You can expect it to be around from the 20th of uh, February to close to the 30th. Well, I'm looking at the 27th or 28th, around there. So, that's it. The, the specs looks, looks good on paper, but actual uh, performance i'm kind of uh, skeptical about because they say it was a uh, double the performance of the 1060 and the 1060 1060 isn't even in the in the conversation right now because we're dealing with rtx so it looks like it's around 12 percent faster than the the 2060 of the previous generation that was a uh, that was Turing yes I even forget forgot that <laughs> the name of that architecture moment there well yeah here it is hopefully we can get it when it does announce because when it does 
go on sale uh scalpers and these bots are a pain man a pain i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie so most of what i have left are aib partner designs for these cards so why don't you take a look with me first off we got pny pny they have a uh, their uprising design here and their revel design here revel is more than a sleek with uh some rgb accents on it here you can see with a not a fan of these red stickers though on the fans but hopefully those can peel off if you want to leave it you can leave it and keep the rgb here you have the color turned to green and that's the thing with rgb you can customize it to anything you want or even leave it off you know like here is the uprising card you know standard fear not not too flashy with the rgb just black blacked out perfect for an all black build next we have zotac their versions of the card still targeted at the 330 dollar msrp hopefully we can get it for that so no same 12 gigabytes even on the box art so what's the difference one must be an oc yeah this is the oc version this is the non oc the twin edge from zotac EVGA also announced their version of the RTX 3060. This this might not be the actual card. They're probably reusing an image from a from the probably the, the RTX 3060 Ti because it doesn't even have the name on it. That's all I have to say on that. Next. MSI also announced that they are releasing an RTX 3060 in all their their main gaming GPU variants. Lastly, we have Inno 3D. So they are releasing their RTX 3060 in the iChill X3 Red, the Twin X2 OC and the Twin X2. So, so this is what uh, those three cards I just mentioned look like. So, the iChill Red, this is it, and this is the Twin X uh, X2 OC. guys that's it for the video i will be perform providing more content to you guys as the week progresses when i can thank you guys for watching you can leave a like and subscribe leave a comment let me know what you think this has been wolf thanks for watching